And next we have Dis- The Apostle of the Sleeping Gods, Discardian book number two, Lit RPG series, written by Dan Sergelinoff. Uh, this is 563 pages, $6.99. It is not available on Kindle Limited. And here's the author's description. Your parents are getting divorced. Now, once you turn 16, you'll be doomed to a pitiful existence on the lowest rungs of the society. The neighbor girl got plastic surgery for your sake and is leveling fast to impress you. A sleeping god gave you its power, but now demands absolute loyalty and obedience, even in real life. Something called the Destroying Plague wants its emissary to infect everyone alive, and as luck would have it, that emissary is you. But the city sees you as its salvation, not a cause of great suffering. Sif, a.k.a. Alex, is a potential Class A threat to the whole world of Discardium, and that's how the system classifies Imba players with an unfair advantage. However, it is, a, it is hard to threaten the world while you're stuck leveling up in Newtown, and it's even harder when all the Preventer clans are on the verge of announcing a hunt for you and even your best friend can't be trusted, all while your two patron gods tear you apart from the inside. And now, to make matters worse, your biggest enemy has just become a threat as well. Okay, uh, full disclosure, I received an advanced copy for review. I purchased the copy when it became available. Um, really easy review for this one. This is the second book in the series. I liked this one actually more than book one. Uh, book one had a few little tiny issues. Um, beginning of book one was a little slower paced. It took a little bit of time to get into the actual MMO adventuring and, advent- and OPness. Um, and this one just got there more quickly. Um, it's, I'll, I also found myself genuinely surprised by several story twists in book one, I'm sorry, book two rather. Um, and I, I like that, I like being surprised and not seeing sometimes where things are heading. Um, it's enjoyable for me. Um, a few of the OP power shift a little in the story, but it maintains that slice of life overpowered adventuring without getting boring. And again, that's because there were other challenges for the main character besides just the combat, which is very well written. Um, I'm actually looking forward to seeing where book three goes. Um, for me, Apostles of the Sleeping Gods, Discardian book number two, gets a score of 7.8 out of 10. 